and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made to fill the hearts which thou hast made O Comforter to thee we cry thou heavenly gift of God most high thou font of life and fire of love and sweet anointing from above and sweet anointing from above praise be to thee father and son and holy spirit with them one and may the sun on us bestow the gifts that from the Spirit flow, the gifts that from the Spirit flow. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Good morning, brothers and sisters, Good morning, and welcome to celebrate this beautiful and important solemnity, Pentecost. I think it's the third one in order to importance in our liturgical year, after Paschal Mystery, Easter, and the Nativity of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. of the world, 
receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast sanctify your whole church in every people and nation, pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth, and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of believers. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly, there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in their own language. They were astounded and in amazement they asked, are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native tongue? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Py Pygia and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God, the word of the Lord. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. O oh Lord, my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O oh Lord. The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. 
May the Lord be glad in his works. Pleasing to him be my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit, we are all baptized into one body, whether Jew or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we are all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Come, O Holy Spirit, come, and from your celestial home, Shed a ray of light divine, come, O Holy Spirit, come. Come, O Father of the poor, come, O source of all our store. Come within our bosoms shine, come, O Holy Spirit, come. You of comforters the best, you the soul's most welcome guest. Sweet refreshment here below, come, O Holy Spirit, come. In our labor rest most sweet, grateful coolness in the heat. Solace in the midst of woe, come, O Holy Spirit, come. O most blessed light divine, may that light within us shine, and our inmost being fill, Come, O Holy Spirit, come. In your absence we have not nothing good in deed or thought, nothing free from taint of ill. Come, O Holy Spirit, come. Heal our wounds, our strength renew. On our dryness, pour your dew. Wash the stains of guilt away. Come, O Holy Spirit, come. Bend the stubborn heart and will. Melt the frozen, warm the chill. Guide the steps that go astray. Come, O Holy Spirit, come. On the faithful who adore and profess you evermore, in your sevenfold gift descend. Come, O Holy Spirit, come. Give them virtue's sure reward. Give them your salvation, Lord. Give them joys 
never end. Come, O Holy Spirit, come. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, who since you forgive are forgiven them, and who since you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. As I said at the beginning, is one of the most important solemnity in our liturgical year, the solemnity of the Pentecost, the day when the disciples receive the fire of the Holy Spirit and receive the courage for go out and announce the good news and announce that Jesus is alive, that Jesus is the risen one, that he destroyed on the cross, the death and sins. For that reason, it's so important celebration. And we need to rediscover our relationship with the Holy Spirit. St. John Paul II said that the Holy Spirit is the unknown God. Usually, we have a relationship with the Father. We pray every day the Lord's Prayer, our Father who art in heaven. And usually we have a good relationship with Jesus Christ. It's the face of God. The God became man. The God to come, to came to our history. But just a few times, we try to have a good relationship with the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is that we need to profess our faith, to remove the fear from our heart, when I feel fear, for example, in the public square to say, I'm Catholic, I'm Christian, we need to invoke the Holy Spirit. Come upon me. Remove this fear from my heart, from my soul. Give me wisdom. Give me peace in my heart. In order to live without fear my faith in my daily life, in any place, we need the Holy Spirit. We need to rediscover this third person of the Holy Trinity. 
sense with the Holy Spirit, we can proclaim our faith. We can celebrate this Holy Mass because He helped us to profess our faith. Holy Spirit, come to us. Renew our heart, our soul. Renew my faith. Holy Spirit, come to me. Give me the wisdom in order to discover what is good, what is wrong, in order to choose with authentic freedom my daily life. We need to pray more to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, come to me. What is his mission? His mission is sanctify us, to help us to achieve our last goal, eternal communion with God, holiness, eternal happiness. This is the mission of the Holy Spirit, the spirit of the truth, to transform, to transform us, to help us to be saints. We receive this special call, the day of our own baptism. God calls us to eternal communion with him, Call us to be saints. I don't know if you remember that sometimes I ask you, do you want to be happy? Do you want to achieve happiness? And all the people raise their hands. But when I said, do you want to be saint? Just one or two. What kind of happiness do you want? Don't exist other happiness than the eternal communion with God. And this is the words of the Holy Spirit. To transform our human goodness and help us to achieve eternal life. To achieve the kingdom of God. The kingdom that Jesus opened for us with his de death death and resurrection. Today, let us open our heart to the Holy Spirit. Come to me, Lord. I need you. Sanctify my thoughts, my heart. Sanctify my actions. Give me wisdom, wisdom, acknowledge, in order to live according to the God's will, in order to receive the temptations in order to reject the evil one in my daily life. Come, Holy Spirit, come upon me. Come and renew my life, the life of my beloved ones, the life of the church, the life of this society, the life of the church. In silence, let us pray to the Holy Spirit, come, Lord, upon us. Let us pray in silence. Dear brothers and sisters, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, Come substantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. 
and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Holy Spirit invites us to speak with confidence to God, who always responds with love. For the whole church on this day of Pentecost, as the glorified Christ lets fall, his promised Holy Spirit, that the strong wind of his coming may surge through the upper room where we have waited to kindle to each of us his holy fire. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the lay faithful, commissioned by the Spirit to be the ferments in society for the kingdom of God, that the Spirit's gift of fortitude may make them strong friends of Christ, able to stand up for the demands of justice, life, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are experiencing new stirrings in their lives, calls to change and growth, movements of repentance, even earthquakes of divine disturbance, that they may now quench or sadden the lo loving spirit who awakens within them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our communion with Jesus and the Holy Sacrifice may intensify the presence of his Holy Spirit in our hearts and spread all around us the sweet fragrance of his gifts and fruits of, in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Spirit may be an anointing of comfort in the sorrowful, healing in the sick, <clears throat> calm to the anxious, forgiveness to the sinners, and refreshment to us all in our pilgrim way. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faithful departed ones, that the Lord may send forth his spirit into their souls, so they may be placed in eternal life as his new creation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the eternal rest of Bob and Stephen Levanate. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for this parish community that we open our hearts to the presence of the Holy Spirit and receive his gifts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the end of the abortion, of the euthanasia, of the imposition of the gender ideology. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the end of the violence in all the world, for the end of the war in Ukraine. Let us pray to the Lord. God of mercy and compassion, hear and answer the prayers of this assembly gathered here today in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Holy Spirit, number 192. into our lives. Holy Spirit, make us truly wise. Give us a spirit of wisdom, an understanding heart. Give us a spirit of knowledge and lead us to the truth. Holy Spirit, come into our lives. Holy Spirit, make us truly wise. Give us a spirit of courage and judgment that is wise. Give us a spirit of reverence of wonder and of awe. Holy Spirit, come into our lives. 
Holy Spirit, make us truly wise. Spirit of love and compassion, give hope to all the poor. Spirit of justice and mercy, come open every door. Holy Spirit, come into our lives. Holy Spirit, make us truly wise. Spirit of all consolation, oh, lift our hearts this day. Spirit of all understanding, Oh, help us know your way. Holy Spirit, come into our lives. Holy Spirit, make us truly wise. Spirit of light and of wisdom, oh, lift us from our sorrow. Spirit of peace and forgiveness, oh, help us face tomorrow. Holy Spirit, come into our lives. Holy Spirit, make us truly wise. Spirit of strength and of healing, Bend stubborn heart and will, spirit of trust and of caring, oh, melt us, warm our chill. Holy Spirit, come into our lives. Holy Spirit, make us truly wise. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of His name. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that, as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, Overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are 
Indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to your consecration for we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially 
with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Joseph, St. John Paul II, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distresses as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom... Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you 
take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am unworthy. You should enter under my roof. My only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. By your heads for solemn blessing. The Lord be with you. May God, the Father of lights, who has pleased to enlighten the disciples' minds by the outpouring of the Spirit, the Paraclete, grant you gladness by his blessing and make you always abound with the gifts of the same Spirit. Amen. May the wondrous flame that appear above the disciples powerfully cleanse your hearts from every evil and pervert them in its purifying light. Amen. And may God, who has been pleased to unite many tongues in the profession of one faith, give you perseverance in the same faith, and by believing, make you journey from hope to clear vision. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Amen.